All right, guys. Um, I'm going to test this generator on this uh, old tractor. Um, it's a DC uh, generator. It is. It's not going to deliver so much power to the to the battery, but it's an original. This is going to make some what uh, 22 amps. Um, but to test it on the tractor, you need to uh, start the engine, of course, uh, and there's one pin to excite some windings inside the, the generator, and there's one bigger pin um, where uh, where the power uh, is coming off of the of the generator. So. Um, Normally, this pin is regulated by the voltage regulator on the on the tractor, but it's not um, not functional right now. I've cut off all the cables. I found uh, the place where it was um, where it's uh, gone wrong. I'm going to show you that in uh, one other video of this uh, tractor and. Um, well, it was burnt very well uh, together, all the wires, and uh, it was a mess. It was a big mess. So, um, what I'm doing, because the voltage on that pin uh, is going to be from the battery, the positive of the battery, and um, normally uh, the current that's going to that one, the voltage is going to that one, it's regulated by the voltage regulator. Because when you excite this pin, the windings inside are, um, are magnetized. And when they're magnetized, it's going to uh, make, uh, make voltage. So, uh, when that's off, it's not making any voltage and um, if the voltage is too much uh, the voltage regulator is uh, cutting off the power to this and when the voltage is dropping he is going to excite this pin again but that is what I'm going to do by hand now I've got a wire from the positive of the battery here um, I'm going to hold it to that pin so the, the windings are excited in there and I'm simultaneously going to watch the meter that uh, if it's going to get voltage and if it's getting voltage um, then I can uh, see if it's going to get too much uh, you don't want to get over a certain voltage with this you're going to uh, to blow up some stuff or something uh, windings or uh, whatever but um, I don't know what's going to happen uh, on a stationary um, uh, RPM on the engine I don't don't think uh, is going to happen very much but uh, I'm going to watch that happen so I'm going to start the engine, I'm going to put the positive lead of the meter on the main output of the, of the uh, uh, generator and I'm going to excite that one. So Jan, uh, this video is specially for you. I hope um, you uh, you can get some information from this. If uh, if not, uh, you can ask some uh, new questions. I'm going to zoom in for you on the leads on the on the generator. Maybe you can see it. Yeah, it's a little dark, but there is the main pin and. There is the pin for exciting the windings that has to magnetize the generator. And 
you can see here I've got the negative of the meter on the dynamo uh, that's, that can be a problem also if there's uh, dirty contacts uh, to the chassis of the tractor uh, from the dynamo that, that can be a problem also here it, it contains uh, some uh, rust and uh, some things so probably I'm going to clean that all but first I'm going to see if it works at all so having said that all um, I'm going to try this I'm going to do this so uh, watch out if you're doing stuff like this that you're not running the wires um, uh, run places like um, the fan belt or things watch your hands watch everything uh, think twice before you do some things on this think twice what you do with the wires and stuff so and first of all check when you start it if it's in neutral you want to check <laughs> if it's in neutral because I have a buddy of mine that's been run over by a tractor um, that way uh, he didn't check if it was uh, in neutral he was standing next to the tractor and he was starting it and it ran him over luckily he survived but uh, it was not nice so you've been warned all watch it <laughs> and try to do it the right way not hastily just watch what you're doing and think twice right i'm going to start the tractor now i'm going to um, uh, turn on my vent ventilation in the in the shed here so um, so I don't uh, suffocate here from uh, fumes from the tractor well here we go checking if the leads not touching the leads are not in the way of the fan belt or something else not too worried about this lead from the exhaust because it, it's not running a long time so and it's cold for you here what you could see here is that it was working correctly it was not on a very high rpm but it worked it uh, delivered uh, somewhat uh, 11 point 
9 volts, I believe. So, uh, so this dynamo is uh, all right. That's great because uh, I'm, I'm not going to have to put a new one on this. Um, one more time, what I did, I've got the positive of the battery. Not very clear with these wires running all over the place. This is a positive lead from the battery. I held it to that one, to, to that small pin on the, on the generator to excite the windings inside. And uh, the big pin, I held the, the meter to watch uh, what the voltages were. And the negative lead of the, of the meter, I've put on the alternator itself. So, having said that, um, Jan, I hope uh, this was uh, enough information for you. Uh, you can ask me again. Uh, I know it was a long time coming before before uh, I made this video for you. Um, but now I had a good specimen to test for you, and I uh, hope you can uh, can test uh, the the generator on your tractor also like this. So um, uh, this was my video for uh, for the this time and uh, hope you enjoyed um, for the ones who want to know who Jan is uh, uh, I believe his name was uh, is, uh, Jan Kotze um, I believe you pronounce it like that too but um, he is obviously going to be in one of the comments of this uh, video so uh, if you want to see his uh, channel, I, uh, I follow uh, him, uh, uh, I think, a year now, I don't, yes, a year, I think. So uh, I have uh, great contacts with Jan, so, uh, but he's uh, living, uh, <laughs> living not uh, very uh, close to me, so. Uh, would be nice to see him uh, in real time sometime, but uh, I don't know if that's coming. Uh, but uh, yeah, good luck with it. And uh, here it is. <laughs> Hope to see you video uh, on it too uh, shortly. Bye now.